Yeah, I want to talk to the psychologist, though, because... Uh, oh, we got her? Yeah, I mean, there's so much going on with this Heath Ledger thing. It's gotten kind of uh, it's upsetting to a whole bunch of people. Hi, uh, Jody? Yes. Dr. Jody Gold, uh, this is the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi. I'm sure you're getting a, a lot of interview requests today um, on this Heath Ledger thing. Yeah, we are, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's tragic news when we all heard it uh, uh, late last night and uh, this morning. Um how would you uh, have the parents deal with the children during this uh, tough time, really? That's the, really the hardest question, because you know, this yeah. is not a guy. Yeah. Yeah. This was not a guy yeah. that we expected this from. He wasn't on the top five list yes. of people this would happen to. Right. So I think that that's the problem. Yeah. The other issue is that this guy, his persona, uh -huh. whether it was true or not, was of the guy next door. Yeah. Like, he was mm -hmm. the guy that kept sure. himself. Yeah. And I think that kids and families need mm -hmm. to understand that just because you're not Lindsay and Brittany and right. you're not, yeah. you know, engaging in self behavior yeah. all the time, doesn't mean that you're not hurting. Mm -hmm. Right. And, yeah. and well, let me ask you, not, not to interrupt, but are, are they <laughs> saying now that it was a... The, the idea that it was a suicide was at first poo-pooed by the family, and then uh, other people are speculating that it may be. Um, you sounded feelings? despondent. Yeah, did, what, was it a purposeful so. thing, or was it just an accidental overdose? I mean, please. Well, this is the thing. It's too early to know. We're, I mean, it's all speculative. Right, yeah. more I'm investigation. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping uh, an open More to mind. come okay. later today, probably, I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. Uh, doctor, I got, I got a little one at home, um, little Gregorio. And uh, how do I, how, adorable? Here's a button. How you. is he? Thank you. He's, he's oh, all right. He's great. He, he seems to be a little uh, a little distant uh, this morning. Mm. Um, how old is he? He's uh, four and a half. Um, it's it's a little complicated when you're talking about death of a child this young. Yeah. Because kids that are under five or six years of age, and sometimes even older, mm -hmm. um, have difficulty understanding the meaning of death. Yeah, sure. except like you know, Jomine or something. But yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. They have things, what we call magical thinking, meaning they may think that, yeah. you know, you go away and then you come back. And right. They may not quite understand the finality of death. Are, are, you, are you suggesting that we raise super kids? I'm sorry. Am I suggesting what? That we raise super kids. It's, uh, we've had a few doctors on over the years, and they, they, they discuss, like, raising super kids. Linger longer. It's a way to get kids uh, uh, prepared for the future by m almost making them super kids while they're younger by exposing them to certain things and ad very adult things, uh, t uh, telling them things, it's, being it's, honest. It's a well-known Oxford uh, study that, yes, that, that came longer. out uh, late last um, year. Uh, what I think, and I, I don't know much about the super kids, so I don't want to speak directly to that. What I think is, mm -hmm. is important with young kids is talking to them in an appropriate age, appropriate level. Right. Um, they're not adults. So talking to them like adults, we're not really sure how they're going to process information. Right. Okay. So you have to talk to a Wonderful. four and five year old understanding what developmental level they're at. Uh, can you uh, take a couple phone calls? Uh, sure. Okay. We got, um, let's see, we got Steve from. Uh, uh, Steve, where are you calling from? I'm Yellowstone. Steve from Yellowstone? Hello? Yes, Hello. Steve. Is the doctor there? Doctor? Yes. Do doctor, is this Dr. Gold? Yes. Oh, I, I, I saw you on the CW11, too. I'm, I'm having a hard time because for some reason I, I was a big fan of, of, of uh, Heath Lager. Yes. And yes, many of us were. Yeah. Very difficult to deal with such an untimely death. I'm not too sure what to do or what to tell my young boy. Yeah, it's a difficult. I am not too sure how to handle this. Yeah, no, I completely understand. I your know you part. do. That's why I'm asking. What should I do? Well, I, I think is it uh, something that's, that's, uh, What's that? How old is your son? Uh, he's 11. He'll be 14. He's 11. Yes. Okay. Um, and as you're aware of what's happened, do we see it on the news? Yes, I woke him. You woke him to tell. Well, I think that I think he was sleeping, uh, and I woke him up because it was a tragedy, and I don't know how to handle it. So I woke him up angrily. Well, I think that what's important for young kids is how the parents. But he's not very young. I don't mean to interrupt you. He's 11. Okay. He'll be 12. When it's his birthday, right. July 19th, the day after the Joker movie is released, which I think is kind of ironic that the Heath Ledger died and the movie's coming out the 18th, his birthday. Yeah, no, I can understand that. I think what's important, though, is that you model 
the behavior you want. If you're angry and you're really, oh, no, really no, 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 I'm sorry. Yes, c- caller. Yes. Yeah, did we lose the caller? No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. I don't feel angry. Yes. Could you please uh, get to uh, the point with uh, Dr. Gold? Yeah, she, I, she's, sorry, I, her time is valuable today. A lot of I, interviews I, to do. I, I'm, uh, th- th- I just wanted to know if you could please explain. Yeah, I'm not too sure what to tell my son because he died of Ambien. Well, first of all, we're still speculating on how he died. We don't know that yet. Important not to jump to conclusions. Okay. However, I think that you have to sit down with your son and have a conversation. <laughs> Hello, are you still there? I am. I'm really. I know this is this is a really hard thing for all, for a lot of us to deal with, especially somebody that you know. We do Come on! Well. This boring bitch makes Ambien look like methamphetamine. Well, we don't know what he's doing. No. Accidental deaths are hilarious. Well, we don't actually know what he died of. And... John Wayne is laughing at this shit dick. Well, I think what's important, though, is that you not talk to your son about this until you feel like you're Daddy, don't touch me there. It's the only way to handle this. Okay. Are you there? Marone! Dr. Gold makes my dick shrink. Okay, I think that probably we should stop. Marone! Yeah. I'm so sorry I'm that you're feeling so bad. Thank you. Hello? <laughs> Uh, yeah, obviously. I think the, maybe we should consider moving on to yeah. a different caller. Uh, yeah, Jody, that was uh, obviously a, a... Hello? Uh, can we get rid of the caller, please? Hello? No, I'm sorry, Steve. You know, we, I don't know what to do. We're trying to take this very seriously. You know, this if, isn't a joke. No, this is absolutely If you're taking it no tough joke. and uh, and think uh, wow. this is going to help, uh, you're you're sadly mistaken, uh, yeah. Steve. Well, I, I'm sorry, Jody. Yes. We, we, uh, we got rid of the caller. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Every once in a while, you know... You, you get one of those uh, numbskulls. Sorry. And I think it's, it's really unfortunate wow. because I do think that a lot of people are really seriously suffering. That are uh, grieving and uh, do have issues uh, as parents and how to uh, deal with it with their children. And I think uh, uh, people like you and uh, people in the business, uh, in the psychiatric uh, field, mm-hmm. uh, can help. Yes. No, I- I think they can, and I think that what we can learn from this last caller is that mm-hmm. parents do model behavior for kids. So if the parents are hysterical or inappropriate in some way, the kids are going to pick up on that. Right. If, if you're going to have a conversation with your children, you need to be in a place right. um, psychologically. You can mm-hmm. sit down with them, yeah. ask them what they understand, speak to them at a developmentally appropriate level, um, and address their concerns, not our own, not the parents' concerns, but the children's concerns. Well, you are um, a trooper. Uh, yeah, we got. Let's uh, let's get back, this back on track. Uh, okay. We got we got Uncle Paul calling in. If you don't know who he is, he's a local celebrity in Oklahoma. He calls our show a lot, and uh, he's a kid show host out there in Oklahoma. Oh, oh yes. wonderful. Uncle Paul, you're talking to Dr. Jody Gold. I got a bad connection. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I do a children's show out here in Oklahoma. That's Hello? wonderful. I'm here. Uh, it's very, it is very difficult, it seems, to when a celebrity dies. I don't why. Why do you think kids have more trouble with a celebrity death than with the average death? Because we've all lost people in our lives. <laughs> but when it's a famous person, we have more trouble. Yeah, no, I think that's true. I think that's true for two reasons. Isn't that One, weird, though? It's, is that with the way yeah. we're raised? Or? Well, I think that celebrities, first of all, people, especially people like a Heath Ledger, friends. And Someone people. give this bitch a pink sock. Hello? Hello? Here. I'm right here. Okay. So, um, I think that celebrities like Heath Ledger feel like part of our family. We hear that all the time. Only tell your children if you have an erection. Hello? 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 Hello?
<laughs> okay. That was fucking brutal. Oh, was that brutal. Hey, look. <laughs> she seems like a nice enough lady. She certainly does. But, I mean, come on. Wow. Come on the news to talk about talk about to the, to the kids. <laughs> How could you be honestly tolerating that nonsense? My, she should have hung up immediately. My favorite part, the Jimmy farts. <laughs> <laughs> and when you can't talk, trying to do uh, Ramon. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I almost laughed at stupid Steve from Yellowstone. I haven't done that in a year. She thought you were, like, tearing up or something. Oh. Like, she heard you go... <laughs> 